Metro workers are escalating their fight for better wages. After 26 days on strike, they're now moving to round-the-clock picket lines at two distribution warehouses in Toronto that supply all Metro and Food Basic stores across the province, creating major logistical issues for the grocery giants. A show of force in the pouring rain. In case this employer was not getting the message before today, they're getting it now. Metro workers already shut down 27 stores across Toronto and the GTA after walking out in late July. Today, they're ramping up the pressure, walking to Toronto distribution warehouses, preventing the delivery of fresh products to all Metro and Food Basics stores in Ontario. How long is this picket going to be here? As long as we have to. I have never seen a group of workers this determined in my lifetime. The company calling it unacceptable. They've offered an additional $3.75 an hour by July 2026 for full-time and senior part-time employees and $2.65 an hour for other part-time employees. But workers say it's not enough and want the company to give them back their $2 an hour pandemic pay. They took it away just as fast as they gave it to us and we're here to say that we deserve that pay all year round every single day. If that were to come back, would this be over? Well, that is a big part of what's at play right now. We deserve a fair wage. We have been struggling for a long time. A wage they say will at least allow them to shop where they work. We don't shop at Metro. Do you guys shop at Metro? No. It's too expensive. It's, we can't afford it, right? It's half of people can't even afford their rent. Metro tells us no solution has ever emerged from such pressure tactics and the company is now filing an unfair labor practice complaint with the Ontario Labor Relations Board against Unifor. They were telling us that they tried to get you guys back to the bargaining table and you yeah, refused. With, with an offer that is unacceptable. Mm -hmm. Clearly, workers are trying to hurt Metro uh, as much as possible financially. In the meantime, food industry experts tell us this could cause major disruptions for the grocer. Inventory rolls maybe twice, three times a day, uh, which means they need a lot of trucks servicing all stores daily. You're likely going to see the impact of, of that strategy very quickly. In a statement, a spokesperson from Metro tells us rather than picketing sites that are not on strike, the union should come back to the bargaining table, which Metro has been requesting since August 12th. Metro will not be able to present an offer and resolve the labor conflict if the union refuses to bargain. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.